Have you ever wondered why there's a small hole on locks? Or maybe why there's always stickers on fruit in the supermarket? And if you're watching this on a computer, what are those bumps on the F and J keys? These things totally pass us by every single day, but they're secretly genius. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at everyday things you never knew had a genius purpose. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first is hole in locks. Take any padlock and look at the bottom of it. You'll see next to where you insert the key there's a small round hole. You may have never noticed it, but there are two genius reasons as to why these are added on every padlock. The first is to let water drain out if you use it outdoors. This prevents it from getting rusted or frozen up in rain or snow. But the other function is you can pour oil into the hole. This allows the lock to keep functioning properly. So if your keys are not working in your padlock, then pour some oil into this hole and it should start working again straight away. Next up is fruit stickers. Go to the supermarket and a lot of fruit will have a small sticker on it. You may think this is simply saying the brand of fruit, but that's not the case. In fact, it has some very important information which is critical for your health. The stickers on fruit do mark the country they're from and the producer, but few know what the numbers on the stickers actually mean. If there are four digits and the first number is a four, this means it's been sprayed with pesticides. This is to kill any insects on the fruit, but they're thought to be bad for you too. So if you see a sticker like this on fruit, you may want to avoid buying it. However, if there are five digits and the first is a nine, then the fruit's been grown organically. This means you have nothing to worry about except maybe the price tag. And if there are five digits and the first is an eight, then the fruit has been genetically modified. You don't know where these seeds could have been made and they could be bad for your health. Right now, there's a lot of debate about GMO foods, but a lot of people are very skeptical. Next up is keyboard bumps. Are you watching this video on a computer? If so, then look down to your keyboard and you'll notice two bumps. These bumps will be on the F and J keys on any keyboard. You probably feel these from time to time when you're typing, but like most people, you've probably never given them a second thought because they're on every keyboard. They date back from when people were transitioning from typewriters to computer keyboards. The F and J keys are considered the home keys, and the bumps are there to let your hands find the home position without taking your eyes off your screen. Nowadays, because every kid uses computers so much, they can touch type naturally. But 10 or 20 years ago, very few people could type without looking at their keyboard at the same time. Next up is chunky part of cables. I'm sure you have some cables lying around your room. Some will be streamlined and thin, but some will have chunky bits right at the end of them. So what exactly is that cylinder shaped lump you get on many cables? They are called ferret cores or chokes. And inside they contain magnetic iron oxide. This suppresses any high frequency electromagnetic interference. A good example of why these are needed is when your phone rings close to a speaker. You get that very annoying sound because of the electromagnetic interference. Well, the magnetic iron oxide inside these chokes stops that happening to your computer screen and other power supplies. If it wasn't for these, then all of our technology would be acting up and glitching out. Next up, we have dimples on golf balls. If you've ever played a round of golf, you'll know that every golf ball has lots of dips all over it. Some think these are simply for style or maybe grip. But that's not the case at all. In fact, when golf balls were first invented, they were totally smooth. But over time, players realized that the best balls were old. That's because they'd been worn in and had all of the best properties. For a long time, the first ever golf players would use old, scuffed and cracked balls. Manufacturers of golf balls then noticed that players were doing this. So they began producing artificially aged balls. The dimples act as artificial aging, as if the ball's been smacked around a bit. The dimples allow the golf balls to be more aerodynamic. The average golf ball has 336 dimples, and this has a very positive impact on the ball's trajectory and flight. Next up is saucepan holes. Look in your kitchen and you'll see some saucepans. But what exactly is that hole in the handle of every saucepan? Many think this is to hang it up on a rack, but that's not the case. That is what lots of people use them for now, but the original reason why you have holes in saucepan handles is to put a spoon in. When you're stirring some food in a saucepan, you don't want to put your spoon down on the counter making it dirty. And you also don't want to leave it inside the saucepan because it may fall into your food. So instead, next time you're cooking, prop the spoon up using the hole of the saucepan's handle. Next up is donut holes. 
Everyone loves a tasty donut. They were first invented in Germany, but they're most popular in the United States. Go into a bakery today and you can see donuts in any shape and size. But in the past, that was not the case. It used to be very hard to get the edges and middle of a pie equally baked. So that's why bakers came up with this donut shape so it didn't cause any problems. Thanks to the hole, there was no middle of the pie. This meant it would all be evenly baked. And that's why we have holes in donuts today. Next up is dot next to iPhone cameras. If you're watching this on an iPhone, flip your phone over. You'll see the camera lens, the flash, and then a mysterious black dot. You may have wondered what exactly this hole does. Well, really it's simple, it records audio. You may notice that when you film with an iPhone, the audio sounds pretty good. But then when you're having a phone call, the audio sounds way less clear. That's because your iPhone has two different microphones. One for you to speak to other people with on a phone call, and the other one which you can use when filming with your rear camera. And finally on the list, we have Converse Holes. You may have heard some rumours as to why there's two holes in the side of every Converse shoe. Some say it's made to keep athletes' feet more cool. Of course, Converse shoes were invented for basketball players. But those holes are not designed to keep your feet cool while playing on the court. They were actually put there so that basketball players could tie their lace around differently specifically in a way that prevented them from slipping over on the basketball court. Specifically in a way that prevented them from slipping over on a basketball court. This is a pretty interesting detail, and although it's pretty outdated now, it's such an iconic design, Converse still make them like this. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner, which was the most interesting thing you never knew the purpose of. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There's some more videos you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.